Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a really good day and uh, yeah, I just hope that you're all happy, very smiley and having a really good day. Today's video, we're actually going to be talking about something that has been rumored for around about four or five days now and that is that the archetype set or you know the archetype character the back bling the glider and everything will be twitch prime only available when you actually purchase twitch prime well it looks like the very very good fnbr leaks on twitter has actually went into the in-game files and kind of debunked this theory for us all today and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video now before we do get into it guys please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this in the future uh, but other than that let's get into this straight away so as you're going to see on screen right now is a screen grab from fmbr leaks twitter and as you can see here it says the archetype set will be available within the item shop all info is pulled from the following file types glider id pickaxe id and cid i don't particularly know what CID actually means. So I'm really sorry that I cannot elaborate on that, but we're gonna look at the screenshot anyway underneath. And it says here, all text is found within the cosmetics.unrealasset file. Cosmetics.source granted Twitch equals only available via Twitch Prime. Cosmetics.source.itemshop equals only available via the item shop. So basically when you find items that have cosmetics.source granted Twitch after it, that means that it's only available via Twitch. And again, for the item shop one, except, you know, it's only available for the item shop. Now, if we look here at these examples, the Twitch Prime Pack for Havoc actually says, Cosmetic Source Granted Twitch. The Sub Commander, which is also another Twitch Prime Pack, says, Cosmetic Source Granted Twitch. All of those ones from the Havoc to the slipstream actually contain that information in their string of text when you go into the in-game files. But if we actually go down to the rumored Twitch Prime pack, which is the archetype pack, it actually says here that it contains the string of text that says cosmetics source item shop. That's the same for the caliper. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's the glider and the servo pickaxe. And uh, of course, you know, it says the game cosmetics source item shop, meaning that yes, this rumored Twitch Prime pack is actually not going to be a Twitch Prime pack. It is only going to be an in-game item where you can actually buy from the item shop. So I just thought that I would actually make a video on this, guys, because I know I've seen a lot of people talking about this over the last couple of days, very curious about it, and I thought that I would like to kind of debunk it as well as FMBR leaks. So FMBR leaks, thank you very much for this information, dude. You're really awesome with all of the information that you provide to the community. And I am very grateful to be able to actually showcase your work. Um, other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'm not too sure how this video is going to go. I'm trying a different format with my videos lately. So maybe there's going to be some stream gameplay in the background now. But you do not have to watch it if you don't want to. But if there is stream gameplay in the background and it goes over, uh, then feel free to enjoy the gameplay itself and uh, hopefully see a W, a win, a, 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 I don't know, whatever you call it. Uh, but anyway, guys, have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star Wars. See ya.